Hello, Miss Beautiful. I know I don't have to convince you about the power of angels because I know you've experienced this in your own life. I know there's been moments or even inklings that there's been a being around you, somebody that's taking care of you. Somebody or something, whenever you felt at your most low or your most desolate, there has been a feeling for you that there is something uplifting you. My message for this week is really simple and it's direct from the angels and it's something I know I need to practice on and you, you most precious one, probably already know this inside out but we forget. And it is to ask, ask the angels, whatever you need, they are standing by ready to help us. Whether it's aloud or inside, angels, please deal with this situation for me. You mean, please make this better. Um, angels, what should I do next? Angels, please show me a better way. Any of these requests. Anything in your speak, this works. I asked the angels three days ago to help me find the lavender field that my beautiful soulmate auntie is scattered in here in the seaside town, see little village, well it's actually a city, <laughs> on the French Riviera, it's quite Gigi actually, <laughs> called Bandol, and it had been 14 years since I've been here and had no idea where this is. There were so many signs on the way, a white and yellow butterfly, feathers of course, feelings, you know, the smells, breezes, just where could it be, sightings and so forth. I'm writing a blog post about this so I'll attach the link so you can read all about it because this message is more important for you to actually take advantage of to just go whatever it is if it's a seemingly very difficult situation just go angel show me the way through I had no idea when I started out on that which turned into quite a large walk that I would be led straight there with one wrong turn only because fear stepped in my block will tell you everything about how fear can get in the way and how you just must keep looking for signs and keep on asking the angels to show you again and again and again. Now since that time, which was trusting my guardian angels, which you have as well, I've had some amazing experiences here in the south of France with archangels. So I believe I'm working on their quest to strengthen my knowledge, to strengthen my communication with them to be able to help you in more detail, to help you with your bigger issues, to teach you how to access, not how to access, just how to recognize when the archangels are at work in your life. Because once you recognize that they're at work, you'll be able to tap into their brilliant power and surrender. Because surrender to peace, I know you do your best. You wouldn't be listening to this if you didn't always strive to do your best. Just giving a lot of your responsibility to the angels is going to be a really healthy move. So, remember to ask always, angels, please help me. Like, angels, what is with this? You know, please step in, heal it for me, please. And I promise you will have a brilliant week. Thank you for listening to the angel message. With love from the south of France, love and light for me.